Buongiorno ragazzi e benvenuti a un nuovo video. Sono alla stazione di Bologna Centrale e sto facendo il viaggio con il treno Euro City alla stazione di Monaco di Bavarese. Io sono contento per il viaggio con il treno Euro City e andiamo al treno. Hello everybody and welcome back to English and as well to another video. Hello from Bologna Centrale Station, where I'm going to board an Eurocity train to Munich Central Station. As this is the last video where I had a pretty big audio problem with my GoPro Hero 7, I'm talking to you right now from the back office. But there's one thing which is quite cool about this, because I can tell you now that this video is not going to turn out being a regular video, it's going to have a lot of excitement in the middle, so let's get started with today's video. The city of Bologna is located in central northern Italy and has direct service to Munich Central Station with the UBB DB Eurocity trains. They are running pretty much every two hours from and to Italy, stopping and going to different directions like Venice, Milano, Bologna or Rome. Today I'm going to use a direct service to Munich which has stops in Verona, Rovaretto, Trento, Bolzano, Bressanone, Fortessa, Brennero, Innsbruck, Jenbach, Wörgl, Kufstein and Rosenheim. As this trip is part of a multi-ticket trip, and the first part of the ride from Bologna Centrale to Verona Porta Nuova is going to be in second class. In Verona I'm going to change into first class and go back to Munich. If you're traveling inside of Italy, please make sure to check out the Trenitalia website because they offer pretty amazing deals on this route. So the first part of the trip, which is about an hour and 30 minutes long, costs me only 9 euros in second class with this direct service with the Eurocity. So, but now enough talking before the train, let's head on board and check out what this Eurocity train has to offer for us. So, come on with me, we are going on board. So everybody, we made it now inside the first carriage which will bring us to Verona. It is a standard second class carriage with a 2-2 configuration and it has some bus seats and as well seats facing each other. As you can see here, this carriage was pretty empty for the first one and a half hours to Verona. I only had one other passenger in here and it was quite a nice ride. One cool thing about this carriage as well, that it is wheelchair accessible, so there is a designated area where the person who is in a wheelchair has as well a comfortable ride. So, but now after showing you the carriage, I'm going to go back to my seat and enjoy a bit for the first one and a half hours and I will let you take part in this. So, stay tuned and we will see now a bit of Italian countryside. I woke up, she was looking at me, she told me I've been cheating on her.
or your larger luggage will go into the luggage racks at the end of the carriage and your smaller luggage like this hand trolley can go on the overhead racks on your seat. Each seat is as well equipped with a reading lamp that can be put on like this and it's very convenient because this route has a lot of tunnels. The train crew offered at your seat serving, so there was somebody coming around with snacks and drinks and will serve you at your seat. As I was sitting in the last carriage of the train, I was able to get up and go to the back. And those trains have a cool feature as well, because you can see through the window at the back onto the tracks. So right now, this is all you've been waiting for, aren't you? Or maybe not, but we are doing a bathroom tour on a train. Each carriage is equipped with a bathroom. Some of them are wheelchair accessible, some of them are not. This one is just a regular bathroom and it was spotless clean at the beginning and as well throughout the whole journey. Well, it basically has everything you want in a bathroom and as well at those times we are right now, it is very convenient that you have hand sanitizer as well on tap and that the restroom was cleaned regularly throughout the whole journey. So everybody, after I have finished my second breakfast of sorts, we are right now going on a train tour. I will show you a first class carriage in a moment, pretty much the same one we are going to travel in from Verona to Munich. Well, the obvious main difference between the second and the first class carriage is that the first class carriage has cabinets which seat either four people or six people. You can choose them on the website as you book your ticket. As you can see here, 
these are leather seats and they are pretty comfortable as I'm talking right now to you from back office I can tell you this right now and well it was a very comfortable ride in here and now it's enough of me talking so let's enjoy a bit of the Italian countryside here in northern Italy for a moment and I will play you some music A moment later. It's getting closer to midnight. I try to get closer to you. Drinking courage from my red cup now. I will soon make a move. Everyone, I'm now back into the normal carriage after my excursion into the locomotive by being invited by a very friendly driver. I will not speak out his name, but 
you know who you are and you did a great job explaining your job and that you're a, a passionist for rail travel as well uh, so mille grazie thank you very much for this opportunity uh, I can't be more grateful that you just invited me into your office with the best view that I can imagine from an office desk. So once again, grazie mille, and we are now continuing with this video, like I used or I thought it would be at least. We are now starting here from uh, the highest rail station in Italy or and as well in Austria and we are continuing our way down the Brennero until the city of Innsbruck this is um, the last very very scenic part of the route as we are following the valley down to Innsbruck so keep an eye out you will see a lot of uh, fantastic scenery along the way here and so I will zip up now I well, think about all the, well, all the things I've seen in the last three hours in the locomotive. Uh, it was incredible and this is uh, something I will remember for a long time now. Um, being able to ride all the way from Verona, Porta Nova, up to the Brennero Stazione with uh, pretty much the friendliest train driver I can think of. And he, ex he explained me such a lot of stuff. I learned so much more about the job being a train driver. Um, so thank you for everything and take care, stay healthy and hope to see you again in the future. Take care. So you fine people of the internet, we are right now in our first class compartment and I will show you the differences between the first class and second class compartment. The first difference is as well the one I've shown you earlier. We are in a compartment, this one hosts six guests. It has leather seats and as well you can recline those seats a bit. If you are sitting at the window you can pop out a small table like I'm showing you right now and if you're sitting at an aisle seat, you have as well a small table that can be put out of your seat on the right side. Please remember this when booking a ticket on those compartments that the middle seat has no table at all, so make sure to get either a window or aisle seat. So on the left side it's beginning with the control for the speaker so you can choose the volume you want. After this you have the control for the light. You can either switch it to night mode or leave it in daylight mode. And right on the right hand side of it you will have your temperature control where you can set the temperature to your comfort. And in the unlikely event of an emergency you will have as well an emergency brake inside of your cabinet. At the window you will have your power outlets that let you charge all your devices and as well there is a small rubbish bin. And once again each seat is equipped with a reading lamp that can be put on like this and as I said earlier it's very convenient because this route has a lot of tunnels on it.
Like this one, this one is filled with sweet potato curry and it's pretty delicious. So if you're on the strain, check it out, it's good.